My name is Brian Jones, spokesperson for the Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development's John James Audubon Bridge Project. On site of the Audubon Bridge Project today, I'm going to give you a walkthrough tour of what construction crews and project managers are facing right here today on site of this massive bridge project. Not only will the Audubon Bridge be the Western Hemisphere's longest cable stay bridge when complete, it's the first design build project for the Louisiana Department of Transportation. Audubon Bridge Constructors has been on the ground here in St. Francis Villa New Roads for just over 14 months. As you can see, there's massive progress being made on this project. Still lots to do. In addition to the construction of the Cable State Bridge across the Mississippi, the project involves seven conventional bridges, or smaller bridges along the roadway alignment. A total of 14 miles. Down this tunnel, these gentlemen are working by hand to place each piece of steel that will go into the construction of these giant rebar cables, which will be inserted into each of the 21 drill shafts under each foundation of the Mississippi River Bridge. Crews behind me are inside of this giant steel casing, welding the casing together to a total length of over 185 feet, where the giant steel rebar cages we witnessed being constructed will be inserted into these shafts and filled with concrete in order to support the massive towers of the main cable state bridge across the Mississippi River. While the Mississippi River proves to be one of the greatest challenges in construction of the Audubon Bridge project, it is also an amazing tool for the ease of transportation of materials from all over the world, including steel from Japan and other materials needed to construct the project from Europe. Here before us, they're transporting large steel casings from the other side of the river. But here the river is used as an integral highway between the west side and the east side which we stand on for the transportation of crews, workers and project managers, and materials from steel to cable and other materials and equipment needed to construct the bridge. One of the greatest innovations about the construction of this project is that the contractor, Audubon Bridge Constructors, has elected to erect temporary work trestles. Ahead of us here is the temporary work trestle extending from the east bank of the river, some 400 feet out into the Mississippi. These work trestles allow for around the clock construction of the Cable State Bridge, regardless of river level, regardless of weather. The contractor is not only working here on the east bank, but also on the west bank. From this view, the giant cranes are working on the installation of test shafts for the foundation on the west side of the river. These test shafts are very important in the construction of this project. The Audubon Bridge Project is the first design build program for the Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development. So what does design build mean? Design build is a techni technique used all across the country where the contractor will both design and build this project simultaneously, saving time and as a result, saving money. By utilizing design build, we're hoping to save over nine months in construction time. Saving time means saving money. It's important to the Louisiana Time Program and myself that you, members of the local communities and the public, stay engaged and informed about the construction of this project. One that's huge for Point Capi in West Feliciana. Over $345 million in investment in our state's transportation infrastructure. There are several ways that you can stay informed. You can visit our website, www.audubonbridge.com, where there you can read up on the latest developments, access the latest documents, including newsletters and reports, construction photos, and a 24-7 webcam 